Hey everyone, I wanted to do a review on the Foxtrot Mic FM9. Um, wanted to give you just an honest review, uh, unboxing, um, and kind of some, some things I was excited about and some things I wasn't. Um, performance, shooting, and so forth. So um, I've been looking for kind of a PCC, uh, pistol uh, caliber carbine, right? Not a short barrel rifle. Um, I've looked at a bunch of them. Um, really, I was looking for anything under a thousand dollars. And after a lot of research, a lot of videos, a lot of just homework on you know what's the best one I could find, um, I came across the Foxtrot brand. Um, I also considered like the Brigade, the BM9. Um, <clears throat> but what I found is, uh, I don't know if he's the owner or not, Paul, he did a video at the SHOT Show this last year, um, which then piqued my interest on the Foxtrot Mic products. Um, they have, and not a lot of companies have under that thousand dollar mark, a last round bolt hold open. Um, when I looked at like PSA and some of the other ones, they didn't have them. So I felt like, well, I'd, I'd like to have that feature because how do I know if I have a jam, I don't, you know, misfire, what have you. And if I shoot my last round with the last round bolt hold open, I know, right? So I ended up, um, you know, there's various sizes of barrel lengths. There's five inch, there's seven inch, eight inch, 10, you know, and so forth. I didn't want anything too short. I also didn't want anything really long, so I kind of picked something in the middle. I ended up with the seven inch, um, so I'm gonna show it to you here. And this one actually has what they call the tri-lug barrel. So this is the Foxtrot mic um, <clears throat> with the seven, I'm gonna show you the barrel. It has this little tri-lug adapt, actually it's built in onto the barrel. It's not threaded on, it's actually part of the barrel. So for any kind of adapters, suppressors, uh, flash hiders, you literally just stick it on quarter twist and it's on. So I thought this was pretty cool for future accessories. It actually came with the SBA3 retractable brace, which I thought was fantastic. Um, a lot of the other braces, or I'm sorry, uh, guns didn't have that. This one actually did. So I thought that was a great touch on Foxtrot's part. Um, I added obviously some things, uh, you know, pop-up sights, um, backup sights, on front and rear. I have a pressure mounted flashlight right here. And then I put a hollow sun, the uh, HS403B uh, red dot on it. So as is, um, I'm still under a thousand bucks. The price of the gun I got from Primary Arms was $729. Um, what I thought was interesting is when I unboxed it, Came in a box, in a bag, and that's it. So um, there was no magazine. Um, it's it's pretty much a bare bone gun. But I think the the difference is is you know you get a lot of gun for the price, and I think that's their their mo as far as building a good product. There's patents on that last round bolt hold open, and I'll show you the inside of the gun in just a minute. But um, very very well built gun. Um, in preparation to shoot the gun, I ended up buying a bunch of mags. Um, these are RWB 31 round mags. I bought a bunch of these. They were on sale, uh, I think at Primary Arms as well. Um, got the gun, super excited, loaded it up, and doesn't fit. Like, not even close. I can't jam this. It won't go all the way in there. Doesn't fit. So um, I was like, wow, okay. Uh, it takes Glock mags, by the way. This fits in my Glock, doesn't fit in here. So I wrote the company, got a, got a message back, and he said, well, we don't support Korean mags. Um, we support Glock mags, and um, I think their tolerances are much better um, as far as variances of thickness and Magpul. Um, so that's who they recommend. So I have a neighbor down the street. I went up to him and I said, hey, do you happen to have any extended round clock, clock mags? Um, so he pulled out one of these. Uh, it's from ETS. They're the clear ones. And I wasn't sure if it was going to fit because it wasn't one of their approved um, mags. But it did. Um, no problem. 
So I ended up buying a bunch of these. Um, as far as features, a fantastic mag release on this gun. I mean, when it drops, it just drops. Uh, my Glock mags fit perfect as well. So as far as fit and uh, placement goes of the mags, stick with the Glock, the mag pulls. These ETSs do work as well. So if you can get those on sale, I definitely recommend that. Um, takedown on this is extremely easy. <clears throat> There's two pins, one on each side here, uh, one here, one here. Just like any other AR platform, pull the pin, it leans forward and you're into the into the pistol. So uh, cleaning makes it a breeze. So here's where I wanted to kind of talk about some of the experience I had. So um, I did take it to, I have a, a backyard range out here, stuck, I don't know, four or five magazines in it. It shot flawlessly. Um, super accurate, no hiccups, no failure to feeds, fire, eject, nothing. Um, towards the end of the day, um, I had some other friends shoot it, and literally every shot, it jammed. And I was like, that's weird. Um, so I'll put a picture in here of what was happening. You'll see right here. So I got a little disgruntled. I came back, and I sent the picture to Foxtrot. And uh, he asked me, he said, hey, um, is your ejector loose? And I looked at the picture he sent me, and I looked at my pistol and I didn't have an ejector and I thought well that's weird how could it have worked you know so well if I didn't have an ejector so I was really stumped um, without a hiccup he sent me a new uh, ejector um, apologized said you deserve a working gun and I was really really impressed with the service that I got from them in the meantime after I sent that I found the ejector on my floor in my office so it must have came loose um, and fell off as I took it apart to clean it. So my, my theory is it was there, <clears throat> it shot fine, it did become loose, and then when I took it out, it, it uh, you know, took it apart, it fell out. What I noticed is there's a bolt <clears throat> that holds the ejector. It's actually right here. <clears throat> Not a bolt, a screw. It's a re recessed screw. There wasn't any Loctite on it. So um, <clears throat> I put it back together, put some blue Loctite on it, I've since taken it back out to the range and fired probably a couple thousand rounds. No hiccups, not a single one. Um, so maybe just a miss on the inspector's part as far as the Loctite. Other than that, it's fixed, it works, it's fantastic. And I will say, um, I'm more impressed with the customer service that I had from Foxtrot Mike than anything else. Um, I'd email them on a weekend, he'd email me back. Um, just really went the extra mile to make sure that the gun was operable the way as it should be. Um, didn't even question. So from that perspective, I'm super excited uh, about the customer service that I experienced with them. And now that I've shot, you know, a few thousand rounds out of this, um, I can say unequivocally, I, I definitely am going to use this as kind of my home defense personal weapon. Um, you know, sure, I have pistols and things like that, but in a 9 millimeter. uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic gun. I've let friends use it, my wife use it. I'll put a couple pictures in here as well. A friend of mine picked it up. There's a gong we have at 100 yards. His first shot, he's ever shot this, hits the gong. Uh, you should have said priceless. I wish I had a picture of his face after he started shooting it. Um, so if you're looking for a PCC, I definitely recommend the Foxtrot mic. Um, very, very well built, great quality, and more important, as I think is what matters in today's uh, you know economic buying times the customer service was second to none so hats off to foxtrot mike i will most likely buy additional ones of these um in different um you know formats lengths and things like that but again just wanted to share my honest review with you and uh, if you have any questions let me know any comments with your experience as well put it in the comments and happy shooting